please welcome to the stage Himanshu Kathpal, Senior Director, Product Management at Qualys. My name is Himanshu Kartpal. I'm Senior Director of Product Management for Qualys Platform and Sensors. Welcome to day two. I hope you had a great day one yesterday. Before we start this beautiful day two, we wanted to give you a bonus live demo. Now, before I disclose what this live demo is about, or you guess it based on the icons on your screen, let me ask you a couple of questions. How many of you are using Qualys Cloud Agent in your environment? That's almost all of our customers. And how many of you are aware about internal attack surface management, or you are sure about every single asset which is communicating in your environment? Two? OK. How many of you would want to know about every single asset which is communicating in your environment without the hassle of uh, knowing the network topology or working with your network team and being updated about every network change which happens in your network? Awesome. We have a perfect solution for you. The same Qualys Cloud Agent, which is already deployed in your environment and which you have been using for vulnerability management, policy compliance, patch, and other use cases from the agent, can now be extended for passive sensing as well. What this means is you, don't, you do not need to worry about the network topology. You do not need to worry about where to put the tabs. Even if you are using existing physical passive sensors, you will need to understand the complete network topology from your team. But Qualys Cloud Agent has the inbuilt intelligence where we will automatically detect the leader node, and it will start doing the passive sensing in each broadcast or multicast domain. Now, what value you will get out of it? You will be able to understand every single asset which is communicating in your environment, and that will now lay the foundation for zero trust, and, will update your, uh, and we will update your CMDB as well, because we know CMDBs are not accurate. This is already enabled for 500 plus of our customers, and on average, our customers are able to identify 30% more assets than they were aware of. In fact, just last quarter, I was in a meeting with the CISO of one of the biggest service provider company in India, and they gave me an environment. They said that this environment has 700 odd assets, and they're pretty confident that they will, uh, we will not have any unmanaged or rogue assets as part of the environment. We just enabled uh, Cloud Agent Passive Sensor on one of the existing deployed agents, and boom. In the next 10 minutes, Qualys identified 18 unmanaged Windows assets in the environment. So what do we learn from this? This means that there will always be some unknown assets which are lurking in your environment. And if you do not have visibility of it, you will not be doing a complete analysis or the true risk measurement for your environment. As part of our QSE, in the first two days of the training sessions and in Kunal's yesterday session, we shared this SSID. This is the SSID which Qualys prepared for the, QSC net, uh, for the QSC network and the demos, and we shared the password as well. And more than 700 devices were detected as unmanaged in, in, uh, in, th in this environment. And do you know how many agents we used for it? Just one. This is a very complex environment. There are multiple routers. There are multiple switches. There are multiple access points. But with just one agent and one laptop, we had the complete visibility of every single person every single device which connected with this network, which otherwise would have taken us weeks and weeks just to understand the network topology and then put those physical uh, passive sensors at those exact tabs. Normally, if the environment is complex as, uh, as complex as this, you will need to deploy a lot many passive sensors, which otherwise can become very cost prohibitive or sometimes physically impossible. Without further ado, let's switch to the live demo. This is not a recording. This is a live demo from one of our platforms. Mohan, I believe this would remain stable. All right. Uh, so in our CSA module, we will start showing how many of your assets are managed and unmanaged. If an asset is already managed by a Qualys Cloud Agent or is scanned using one of the uh, one of the scanners, we will show it as managed because you are that asset is part of your cybersecurity program already. But if that asset is unmanaged, that is, you are not scanning it using any of the quality sensors, will show it as unmanaged. In just last two days, we have identified more than 740 devices which have connected to this network. Now let me show you the true power of this uh, uh, true power of this solution. Let's search for a crown jewel asset. Is Sumit here? Okay, Sumit is not here, but we can search if Sumit connected to this network. Apparently, yes. So we can see that in a, uh, just in a single uh, S simple elastic search, we can identify if Sumit connected to this network or not. And we'll also show when was when he connected for the first time to this network and when was he last seen. 
and I think I should get some money from Samsung for doing this free promotion for them. Let's also check about the devices which are generally part of the corporate environment. This includes your MacBooks, this includes your Windows assets, this includes your Linux assets as well. So we do not only detect the host names, the IP addresses, etc., but we do collect rich asset metadata as well. For example, uh, this is the one of the MAC addresses. I'm not sure whose this is because uh, uh, the name is not obvious, but we do collect the complete system information. We collect operating system. We collect hardware information. And using our CSAM, we will also show you the life cycle of this asset. For example, for this asset, uh, the operating system is generally available since October 2024, but the hardware for this model is already end of sale. We also collect information about network devices. We'll provide you the MAC address. We'll provide you the manufacturer and introduction date so that you get enough metadata to make a confirmed decision on whether this asset is legitimate or it's a rogue asset which has just entered your environment. But just detecting is not enough. We also provide one-click workflow where you can start deploying agents on the agent deployable machines, such as Windows, Unix, Mac, uh, Solaris, AX, etc. Or if it's a, it's a, if it's a non-agent deployable device, you can simply add it to, the, to your vulnerability management workflow. Let's see some of the other devices which we have identified. We also identified one of the printers. Now, fortunately, this was the printer which we were using for printing the photos in the, uh, in the in the in day before yesterday's party. And but otherwise, if the printer is unauthorized or unmanaged in environment, it is one of the leading causes of people getting unauthorized access to uh, uh, unauthorized access to documents which they should not have access to. It also leads to one of the critical vulnerabilities. I hope you would have heard about cups. That vulnerability impacted every single printer on the environment. And if you have these kinds of unauthorized or unmanaged printers in the environment, you can get alerts for it. The other examples are cameras. If you have unmanaged cameras in your, in, in your environment, that can lead to privacy issues. And it's just not that. We not only after detecting, but you can simply activate these cameras for remote scanning so that you do not need to worry about how you will manage the security of these cameras. As of now, it's a manual activation because we wanted to take it slow so that you can analyze if you really want to scan these devices or not. But by the end of this quarter, we are providing automated workflows where you can define rules. You can define that if a Windows asset is identified in any of my environment, just activate it automatically. If it's a Linux asset, just act activate it automatically. But if it's an IoT asset, do not activate it. So that the whole workflow can be automated for you. The other major use case is you can get alerts for it. For example, you have a boardroom, and if you want to identify that, you have a boardroom, and if you want to identify that if any mobile is getting connected to the boardroom network, you can get alerts for it. Normally, in your boardroom, only a few laptops are allowed, and you can define this based on the specific tags or specific assets as well. And if we detect any un unmanaged or rogue device as part of that specific network, we will send you an alert. Now, all of this can be seen in a, sing a singular dashboard as well. Uh, in this dashboard, you see how many of your assets are managed, how many of your assets are unmanaged, how many are detected live and new in the last one week, 48 hours, or 72 hours. You can also see it based on the last few minutes or last one hours as well. And this is live data. So if you want to see if your asset is part of our demo network, please reach out to us in the, in the demo booth section, and we will show you your asset. And all of these things just take like seven to eight minutes uh, for it to show on the UI. You will also be able to get a breakdown from the manufacturer perspective, from the category perspective, so that you get enough metadata and can make informed decisions about rogue devices. Can you go back, go back to the uh, slides, please? All right. This was a quick and bonus demo. This was not part of our agenda, but we wanted to show you the true power of our platform and how quickly you can get access to all the assets which are communicating in a network. If you are an existing CSAM user, you can just enable CAPS. It's absolutely free. You can enable it on all of your agents, and agent will automatically detect one master node to do all the work for you. This is as autonomous as it can get for identifying every single asset which is part of your tech surface. And if you are not, just do this scan. Just scan this QR code, and we can start a 30-day trial for you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Himanshu.